We are going to part two of our Space Cat animation here and where we should have left picking up where we left off um, is we should have this uh, drawing done of the Space Cat image that I had drawn from a sketch. And so if we uh, um, put back visibility back on on this sketch, um, we can see the original sketch here and we can move that off to the side. Um, you could delete that even actually we could delete that sketch layer um, because we won't be needing it anymore. Um, so we'll delete that layer. Um, we'll have the Space Cat graphic on its own layer here and it's as an outline. Let's take a look at what we're going to head towards. Um, we're just heading towards creating this Space Cat flying across the scene. And so what we're going to go over here is um, a little bit of coloring techniques and then also um, how to apply what's called a tween to make this graphic go from one side of the stage to the other. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and start filling this guy in using our fill bucket here. Go ahead and take this light orange color and, um, and fill in these few parts here. Um, we'll go ahead and kind of change up our color to maybe this light blue. We'll do kind of a fill on the helmet here. Um, one thing we want to make sure we have turned on with our paint bucket is the closing large gaps. So if there are gaps um, between some of your lines, it, the program Animate will actually fill those gaps and not run through those lines um, on its own. So that's a very nice feature to have on. Let's go ahead and try and take maybe a uh, reddish color or let's see, maybe... Yeah, I think I was going to go with kind of like a red color for these parts of the rocket. And maybe an orange for down here. Um, so I'm seeing a couple little spots here that did not quite get hit. So I'm going to take my paint bucket again and fill in that last little bit there. All right, he's pretty much ready to rock. I did notice I missed this little space. Um, for his nose, which I'll go ahead and fill in light pink. All right, now a uh, quick key for the zoom tool, when you zoom in to paint those small spots, is Z on your keyboard. So if you hit Z, it'll go right to your zoom tool. And then if we hold the option key down, it will go from plus to minus. So we can just back out to see everything that way. All right, so now that we have him filled, actually, I think I need to fill this um, main rocket space actually as well throws you off because you can't really tell here um, because the scene itself is white. So I want to make this maybe like a light tannish kind of color, something that's just really light to fill in there. And now we got them. All right, so let's just click on this first keyframe of this graphic, or we could click and drag with our selection tool to, tr to select everything here um, that we want for our graphic. We're going to hit the F8 key on our function uh, row of keys on our keyboard. And we're gonna call this um, a C or space cat or whatever you would like to call it, cat. And um, now it's a graphic. So what you can see now is when we click on this, it's all together in one piece. And you can still edit it, but you have to double click on it to edit it. So now I'm inside of the space cat graphic and we can see that here is by your tab bar where your projects are open. Um, so right here you can see it says space cat, so I'm inside of that graphic. And if I go back to scene, now I'm on the main scene timeline. The other thing you may have noticed is when we double click on this graphic, it has its own timeline inside of here, okay? So let's go back out, and like I said, we can edit this graphic still in here. So if you wanted to do something like maybe change the color of the cat or the color of the helmet, let's just change that really quick. Um, that would all happen within this scene. So let's say I wanted to make the helmet more of this color. I could change it while here, and I'm inside of this graphic. And then um, if I go back out to scene, now he's there. And I can still undo those things by going and pressing Command Z. I actually think I liked that original blue better. So back out on scene one now. Um, what we can do also is I think I want to shrink this guy down just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to use the free transform tool right there. And I'm going to hold shift and click and drag on the corners in order to keep it proportional. Otherwise, it will kind of change your proportions sometimes if you don't hold that shift key and drag from the corners. Okay, so now my graphic is off on the side. What we want to do is go ahead in our timeline to maybe about 50 frames 
then hit the F6 key on your keyboard to create a new keyframe. And then on that keyframe with it highlighted there, we're going to click and drag our space cap across the stage. And a little bit on the upper diagonal line-ish. So um, first frame here, he's starting off the stage left. And last frame, he's going to be off the frame right. All right, and what we're going to do is also connect that now with what's called a classic tween. And a tween is something that Animate uses in order to connect um, a graphic going from point A to point B. So if I scrub along this line, you'll see him go from point A to point B. And when I preview, that's what we have. All right, so, and always need to make a graphic in order to make a tween. You cannot make a tween happen without first making your graphic into a graphic. And only one graphic per layer um, can happen with a tween. As you can see, this takes up all the space. So if you were to have other space cats, they would need their own layers, which would be really easy to do. You just create a new layer, and then you could go to your library, and we could take this space cat graphic, since it's now in our graphic library, and we could brag him to the stage, and now we have two space cats. So we could have as many as we want, and that's the nice thing about your library and how it saves um, the graphics you create. So back into the properties and back to our um, scene here. So other things I'm gonna add, I'm gonna actually make this my stars layer or for my background, and I want those to be behind the graphics. So I'm just gonna click and drag that layer down lower. Um, and so first, in order to make the stars stand out, I need the stage to be a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my stage color to, uh, I kinda like that dark greenish, grayish kinda color. Yeah, kinda like this one. All right, so um, that's gonna be my space sky color for now. You can choose any color you wish. Um, color for the stars, let's see, maybe something like this light beige yellow kind of color. I like working with the pastel-y type colors. Yeah, made it a little brighter. That one will work. All right, so now how to use uh, our make stars. So rectangle tool makes rectangles. We've been over that, um, pretty simple. Oval tool makes ovals. Um, the poly star tool has a few different options. So poly star tool, if we go over to our tool settings and our properties bar here, we hit options. We can change this to say star or polygon. And if we want it to be a polygon, we can name the number of size, this of sides, or if it's a star, we can name the number of points. Um, so here, why don't we make this a four point star and we'll say, okay. And now we're gonna draw a couple of these. And I think it's better actually to have no outline turned on. So let's Command Z that really quick. Um, it actually looks like I do have I did have no outline turned on. But if you didn't, um, take your pencil uh, color and switch it to no uh, outline, which is that strike through there. So now if I draw this, it shouldn't have an outline. Beautiful. Um, so and make sure that this is on your stars layer. I like to make them go off the edge of the page a little bit to kind of create a better sense of space. Go back to my poly star tool, add a couple more, maybe different sizes, maybe a couple small ones, um, maybe another bigger one over here, or maybe not. Um, I could go back to my options. I can maybe make these um, eight point stars. So now they're kind of like bursts, right? Something like that. I'm just making some kind of fun shapes now at this point. Um, it is a cat flying on a rocket after all. So um, now when we watch this, we have a little more um, interest going on with our stars and our cat flying through. And um, we will talk about in future um, animation assignments how to go into using motion tweens so we can make him move on more of a path like you saw in my demo. Um, but that will be for later on right now, getting down the classic tween and a classic space cat. So I hope you have a lot of fun in creating this and have some um, of your own input and creativity to it as well.